Little Sugar Buggers, welcome back to the channel for a brand new episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Not So Very Challenge. So Thorn has just met a brand spanking new Sim through her connections at work. So Mr. Bowen Clay, you may or may not recognize Mr. Doctor 90210. <laughs> From my latest mod or career mod overview for the plastic surgeon slash medical career. Anyways, he is a huge heavyweight when it comes to the politician world. He donates a lot of his um, annual earnings to various campaigns and causes and that sort of a thing. And I'm not really sure how they ended up linking up, but somehow he got word of Thorn and her big moves in the politician industry. And he wanted to get to know her a little bit more. He was very freaking intrigued. And I'm not going to lie. This guy is seriously at another level. Like, he is so out of her league right now. It's not an insult directly to Thorn or anything, but, like, he is just of another caliber than the guys she's been kind of, you know, finagling with, so to speak. He invited her out to the rooftop trouble. Now, if you guys are familiar with this lot, then you know that it's usually, like, half the size. But I went ahead and extended it because this is actually where the Stargazer's Lounge used to be located. And if you want me to upload this bad boy to the gallery, I will do so. So, but I really love it here. Honestly, you know, when you put lots down and it still looks like it's the same, I guess, place sort of, you know what I mean? It's just a new lot kind of there and it just, it doesn't really give you that vibe. Putting this lot here really transformed this area of San Maishuno and I just feel like it's such an edgy hip, young place and I'm really really enjoying it. I never have played with this lot before and I think just me extending upon it really did something. So, I'm not really sure what is going to happen with these two, if they're going to link up in any other way, shape, or form, but he's just really interesting, and he finds her just completely freaking mesmerizing. I don't know. There's something about a lady boss that kind of gets Mr. Bowen in trouble, and yes, he is available on the gallery at Gen 2606. Now, if you're wondering a little bit about his history, he was very successful at a young age. He ended up actually meeting this one girl. I think her name was Isabella, and they hit it off, but Isabella was was kind of a snake, right? She was definitely not in it to win it. <laughs> she was in it for the Fetias, the Guap, the Simoleons. And while she really played Mr. Clay like a freaking violin, they ended up having a little girl together. And then once she realized she could cash out on the child support payments, that girl was out of there like <laughs> Gucci. Like she was just, you know, another fad, another day, basically. And um, it really broke his heart because typically he's a pretty strong dude, right? And um, she really, she really pulled the wool over his eyes and it kind of it kind of crushed him a little bit so anyways he's having a really hard time trusting women again but he sees something in Thorn and unfortunately the way the not so very challenge rules are well we're just going to basically be another notch in his belt and vice versa but I don't think he looks at us that way if that makes sense anyways a long story short I think these two are gonna go ahead and uh, hit up the dance floor let's go have them dance together the DJ has just arrived he usually comes about like 8 30 that's like when the real the real start the party the real party starts to pop in yes yes maybe I don't know I'm actually getting in the mood because this weekend not this weekend that's happening wait no this I just felt wait a oh girl what what is you doing on the rooftop lounge girl when you was this pregnant she looks like a freaking pregnant beetle oh my god you need to go to the doctor stat because how well, speaking of which, we got ourselves one. I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, I have a show this weekend. I'm really, really freaking excited and I can't wait. So I'm like totally kind of um, getting getting prepared for it, if you would say. All right. So Thorne has had enough to drink and she keeps like having the bladder of a flea. I, I mean, she, they've been here. <laughs> Look at him. He's walking the same way. They have been drinking gosh, probably for the last five hours, and I really don't think I have ever seen. No, don't leave me. I think he just left. Oh, God. Oh, I want to cry. Poor Thorn. We'll get him back. I don't think I've ever seen her hang out with somebody like this much before ever like it just doesn't usually happen so I'm gonna see if I can get him to come back I don't know why they leave so early but I'm not having it I just I really enjoyed his company so maybe he had to go like take a potty break or something well, that's what we'll that's what how we'll play it but um anyways while we're waiting for him to return we're just gonna go ahead and head it up on the dance floor a little bit and hopefully he'll come right back I really hope that he does um otherwise 
I'm totally okay with the way that it ended, but I'm really intrigued by him. I just at least kind of want to get a little flirtatious with him so that we can get that kiss in. <gasps> so then that way we are on number what now? We will be on number eight. So we only have two more Sims to go. Now, if he isn't going to return, then I have no other choice to, to but to get my thought on because, I mean, I am definitely... <laughs> trying to uh, get these last two two kisses in. I don't really want to do Oh, I don't like him. Okay. Um. Ooh, we got Naboya. We already know this dude. I don't, I, you know what, guys? I don't think he's coming. Like, I really freaking don't. Uh, I'm going to try to invite him one more time. And then hopefully we'll get lucky here because it's not too late. Like, he should still show up. I love this lot. It's so, it kind of reminds me of the herbs. <laughs> Just a little bit. You know what I mean? I hope he comes back. Oh, my God. Why is everybody pregnant? I think there's something seriously going on with my game. I'm, like, not even kidding. Anyway, um, if he doesn't end up showing up, it's totally fine. I'm not going to be that mad about it. At least we can probably go home and prepare for the next day. Kind of seems like we might have just gotten stood up, guys. He may have been feeling, I don't know, like maybe he got cold feet or something. Okay, well, let's go see what's down here. Um, Just in case maybe he's like lingering around. There's some dude in his, oh, it's short shorts. Oh, my God, there's Jude. What is, what is, oh, 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 okay. So there's just some, I, I, wait a minute. I don't think I've ever seen this food stall before. This is like super classy. I like this. I like this whole area. In fact, uh, what is this over here? <gasps> I never come down here enough. This is super gorgy. I love this. <laughs> gorgy kind of sounds like orgy. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't know <laughs> anyway maybe we should come over here and like practice our freaking politics or something I don't know what else to do he totally left me there's really nothing happening here it's like deader than a freaking doornail how much you want to bet that <laughs> Mr. freaking peepees over here or Mrs. I'm sorry is going to nail 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 these last two kisses because it's gonna happen so I gave him a flirty introduction he didn't really seem to care um but I'm not done. We're not stopping there. No, we're going to go over here and kiss his hands. Even if it's a failed interaction, like, I literally don't care. But I, I think it's going to work. Yeah. Easy. Simple. Am I cheating? I'm cheating, huh? <laughs> I don't care. You guys, what you got to do, man? Um, uh, Let's see. Who else we got? You know what? Like, whatever. DJ Headliner, you're freaking amazing. She's drunk, right? So she's just she's just kissing people's hands. Like, it doesn't mean anything. And this guy's, like, low-key trying to hit me up, though. He's actually kind of cute. Like, seriously. I'm not even kidding. Like, if I knew how to say your name, I would actually say it. But I don't know how. <laughs> I just know your last name says Anan. 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 Anan think so um okay the dj headliner is a little busy can't can't give her a little kiss how about lilith how about her let's see i think she would definitely be okay with it she seems like an open mind so what do we think about mr clay i don't know i could feel i kind of feel like she would marry him like when they're old no that's ariel ariel's definitely the one she's gonna marry you guys i feel it i really do um okay well it looks like that totally worked now if i could just go over here and kiss her hands <gasps> I would have it made. Argue about music? No. Why do you want to talk about freaking fruitcake? All the <laughs> You're making it so difficult for me. Okay, where's the freaking... I know, I sound so annoying right now. Like, literally not even kidding. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally okay. Like, I I, I see you, boo. I see you. <laughs> uh, like, a blow her kiss? Does that count? Because, like, I would do it if this counts. Um, Nope. We've got two more Sims. Oh, God. Okay, kiss her neck. Um, No, probably freaking not. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Like, she might like it. Ah! Oh, my goodness. She was totally down for that. Yes, girl. I love it. I mean, we got a little thotosaurus on our hands, y'all. She can't be tamed. What about this dude over here? Oh, and a, a, a keto food, Gigi. We are totally messed up. We just, we are, we are running out of sims, y'all. Okay, Um, how about you? Let's go and give her a flirty introduction. Like, somebody needs to cut her off. Somebody needs to put the X's on her wrist stat because she is over here freaking causing and muck. Um, all right, flirty interjection to this dude. How about that? Okay. Oh, he's angry. He's super bitter, you guys. Well, maybe we can turn that brown upside down. How about that? All right, what time is it? Oh my god, it's one o'clock in the morning. What the hell have we been doing? Like, honestly, I feel so bad for Mr. Clay, like, low key. 
I feel really bad for him because this is exactly what he wanted to avoid. But I'll be a freaking monkey's uncle. Like, not even kidding. Oh, they're closing. <gasps> closing time. Oh, my God. I can't do this. This is so freaking stressful. I need one more sim. Who is going to be the lucky man or woman? Jatiti. I think I already based on him. Do we? No, maybe. All right. This is seriously like the most. This is a grind. This is hard. I can't do this. You know what? Uh, let's just go and ask him a risque question. Like, who cares, you know, at this point? I actually had a lot of fun here, though. Seriously, low-key. I, I really did. Even though this does feel a little... This does feel a little serious, but I definitely had a good time. Um, I... No, we like you. We love you. Your pants are popping. Like, everything looks good. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let's flirt with him. We're gonna make him so freaking uncomfortable. He hates us. Oh, my God! How do you mess up with a guy that's in a flirty mood? Like, are you just not... So just as I predicted, Clay, in fact, did get cold feet yesterday. It wasn't anything that Thorn had done in particular to make him just straight up leave her. It was the fact that his emotions were just getting too overwhelming to bear. So he ended up just kind of leaving. I don't know, maybe anxiety, possibly. I, you would probably not think like a guy like that would ever get kind of like nervous and antsy, especially because of the work he does. But he did. And he called Thorn this morning, apologizing profusely, promising to make it up to her and asking if she would forgive of him and of course I mean how could you not he is such a beautiful face you know so anyway she decided to go and get her fitness on so here we are at the Lux gym I actually have really love this gym and I haven't been here before I don't know if this was like a gallery download or not but it's just it's really freaking awesome and then um I ended up seeing the <sighs> gym trainer for this particular lot and he is super freaking adorable like super adorable his name is anthony so we are gonna go over here and interrupt his little yoga class and give anthony a little bit of a friendly or actually flirty introduction so i'm not mad at clay like i really don't care it's fine it's whatever it's not a big deal again like it's not like anything um is going to become of it but i think it's kind of cute that he felt that way you know what i mean all right so i'm not going to worry about anthony right now because he's obviously very busy but i do need to get this last kiss in who is this guy oh my god lincoln hi how are you? You're looking amazing. Have you been lifting? Yeah, do you lift, bro? Like literally, I can see that the definition. It's pretty. It's pretty freaking awesome. Hey, um, I have a good question for you. Yeah, uh huh. Politics, absolutely freaking great. Sounds like a plan. Can I get your vote though? Like I just, I just, I really do need you to do this though for me, Lincoln. <laughs> Please uh, ask for a small bribe. Uh, secure a vote. Yes, let's do it. Yes, just we're going for the stars. That's right. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, let me go and try this again. I don't know if I can in like totally interrupt his little um his moment here, but I think I can actually. So let's go and uh, try to give this dude a friendly introduction. I don't think I know him yet. Why are you going underneath the freaking stairs? I heard you became really good friends with Bowen Clay. I heard he's pretty cool. Yeah, he's he's a he's a big name around here. I know. I'm pretty excited about that actually. All right, let's just go and give this guy kissy hands, please. I would be so <gasps> whoop whoop. Can I get a whoop whoop? Sadi has completed her romance level. What? We are now a serial romantic. Oh my god. God, we need to have eight boyfriends or girlfriends earn gold on three dates. So things are starting to get a little bit juicy. If anything, Clay, you guys, could probably be our sugar daddy. And I do believe, honestly, he's going to be our next boyfriend. I mean, I could not pass that up. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie, though. This guy is also extremely attractive. Again, she kind of has a thing for blondes, which is like completely the opposite for me. I actually really love um, dark hair as you can tell <laughs> like I think all my sims have dark hair it's just it's kind of a problem and I'm working on it but um oh my god she is so late for work but I mean right now we cannot be picky at all so I'm really excited that we reached a level three of these serial romantic and we are actually on level oh goodness gracious what are we on level like six Six or something of that of the politician career we do have a long way to go naturally but uh, I feel like we'll definitely get there this this level of the NSB or this generation rather is actually a lot easier and it's kind of cool because it's completely different than what well, kind of different than what Noel Noel's generation was and it's gonna be very different than um than Little Miss Mary Gold, whom I feel like we haven't really seen much of in this episode. She actually got a B in school and she's been really wanting to try 
to um, get an A so that she can impress her grandma because uh, Noelle has been stressing on her how important um, education is and being smart and all that kind of fun stuff, which I thought was really cool uh, that she has such a huge influence on her like that. So, all right, well, we have this big old patch right here that I noticed. Um, apparently, Noelle has singed the grass. Maybe we can get a gardener in here and uh, they can fix that. Oh, look, we are <laughs> having a problem. Mr. Butterfly is frozen literally in midair, but let's go over here real quick and uh, dig for some of these trees treasures um and then i'm gonna grab Ooh, we've got some wild strawberries we've also got some of the snap dragon flower i want to like grow some stuff oh look at you you're so cute I, I you know what noelle needs some friends she i felt so bad for her she wanted to go and get a drink at the club like when when you know it's been such a long time since she oh god oh cashew <laughs> You are in heat. Um, I kind of want to get another dog. I know. I, I, a, 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 a. I called in. What the hell are we doing? We're not going to work. Are you freaking kidding me, Susan? Like you seriously can't even get. Or is it Becky? Who knows at this point? I seriously can't even trust these freaking dopes to be able to put it in my vacation slip. I know she can retire. I'm totally aware of that. But again, reiterating the fact that we have 10 vacation days left and I want to use them up. And uh, listen here, I had 11. Now, oh, honey. Oh, you just oh you just snapped you back <laughs> like a snapdragon. I love it. Okay, that was the lamest joke I've probably ever made here on my channel. Oh, my God, Mary Gold, are you freaking kidding me? Today, the principal is visiting... Oh, okay. I thought it was like she was visiting the principal's office, so... Today, the principal is visiting Mary Gold's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, this kid sitting behind her has decided to pelt her with something. Oh, she's being bullied. Should she ignore it or ask the kid to stop? She would ignore it, unfortunately. She really would. She would not say a damn freaking thing. Uh, Ariel... Oh, God. Hey. Oh. Their affair is absolutely getting freaking spread like a wildfire. I heard you became good friends with Bo and Clay. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Oh, my God. This kid put up with way too much, man. Marigold keeps her eyes trained duff dutifully <laughs> on the board, hoping the kid will stop. Instead, the kid fires a ball of paper so, so hard it rolls up to the teacher's feet. Oh, God. For once, somebody else gets in trouble. Oh, no. And Marigold gets to look innocent and studious. Yes! That actually worked out. Awesome. I love it. Oh, honey, put some clothes on, girl. Damn, it's so weird. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Well, we've got a little flirtatious, uh, little flirtatious pup over here. Let's go and give. Oh, God, wrong person. Go and give her a bath. I love her. We need to, like, really try to, like, teach her things and be more involved in her life. I mean, Cashew was such a good pup. On Honestly, though, it was such a mistake getting a raccoon as a pet. Like, I can't even turn my back on Axel without Axel eating something. Like, I had made um, sugar cookies for Marigold. And freaking Axel's dirty little colito was on top of the freaking counter just chowing down. And then he proceeded to knock over the trash can. I'm not even kidding. Like, I don't even know if that's possible. But, like, he was trying to knock it over. It was, like, swaying. I'm not even kidding. Like, literally, that was happening. Um, and what if, what if Noelle, like, got rid of Axel? Oops. I'm not kidding. Like, what if she did? She doesn't like Axel. She really doesn't. Like, do you? Do you like Axel? I don't think you like Axel. I don't think. Because Axel's just a pain in the butt. I mean, she kind of does. They're, like, friends. But, like, you know. Uh, on the real real she don't like him all right so we are giving little cashew daddy <laughs> i'm just kidding i know it's a girl a little bath rubbing the coolies oh yes can i get in there can i like oh yeah wow good scrubbing look at that no oh, wow she's really getting in there cashew's like finally some attention for me little old me <laughs> it's a hard knock life for cash it's a hard knock life for cash what can i do to get a little scratch on my ass oh my god i'm such a freaking lunatic like somebody help me please okay uh let's see she's really like trying to get down in doggy with it <laughs> Do we know any dogs? What if we got her pregnant? Oh, yes. Uh, could we please? Uh, do we know any stray dogs? <gasps> do we see any stray dogs? Could we have Cashew go and find a stray dog? What if we did? I want to do it so freaking bad. Um, but I'm going to have to keep my peeps out for some dogs. You know what? Actually, you know what we're going to do? <laughs> we are going to get a stray's welcome because Noelle is a crazy dog lady. So she is going to want to feed all the dogs. 
And I'm going to see if I can get one of those rugs. I'm going to see. I'm freaking sword. I think you guys is going to end up losing her marbles with this one. I really do. All right. So fuzzy welcome mat. Perfect for wiping your paws off before coming inside. Now, which one is it? Okay. All puppers welcome. There we go. All puppers welcome. I know. God, how does that voice annoy you? Good. I mean, not good that it does, but like it should. And if it doesn't, then we've got a problem here. I'm not even kidding. Like I literally, I want to tell you a story. You ready? It's like, it's tea. So yeah. No, it's tea. It's tea in all shade, okay? And <laughs> all <In old> offense. <laughs> Whew. Um. Anyway, I'm I'm just kidding. By the way, uh, uh, I was on Twitter, and you know, I learned this cool little technique. I know I'm late to the freaking party. Um, I learned this little technique where you can actually see who's talking about you if they even include your username. So I was on Twitter, and so I did, and then I found this one kid who like, um, this one girl was like, oh, uh, something about like. I used to watch Urban Sims and then like she just doesn't really watch my videos right now like that that happens you know it's whatever that's not the part and then this one kid was like yeah but she got on my nerves <laughs> I'm like you want to know how many times I've heard that that I've gotten on somebody's nerves <laughs> I know I can hear somebody be like oh Jen it's okay but like yeah yeah and then I wrote rude lol I was laughing and like the person like couldn't believe I responded and like wrote um what did they do they like retweeted it and they're like oh my god and then they deleted the tweet like <laughs> I saw it still that's the thing people say crap to me and they think like I'm that type of person that we're not that type of person like in a negative way but like um somebody that doesn't get the opportunity right to really like see everything and but I'm letting you know like I am the almighty seeing eyeball like I see it all okay 360 freaking like 3D view all right I, I see things I shouldn't see and cannot be unseen so before you p post a nasty comment don't think I'm not gonna see it and then be surprised when I do because if I do boo <laughs> I got you <laughs> bitch you got caught no I'm just kidding um but yeah it was just funny which is funny because like I think anytime I've ever heard or seen somebody insult me it's usually like oh that girl got on my nerves it's like I've been the same way since like circa 2012 like if I just now got on your nerves then I you are late to the fiesta <laughs> um but anyway it was just cute like I don't really think those things bother me anymore because you know I think that's the thing like that and this is completely going into another tangent but I think that's the thing like if somebody says something negative about you and like you know it's not true you can either ignore it and pretend like it doesn't bother you or if it bothers you just embrace it like okay yeah that person said that and shoot yeah maybe I am but like and <laughs> like it stops there you know like and what like that person isn't annoying sometimes or that person doesn't do things that pisses other people off probably they do right it's usually the people that are projecting those feelings on you that maybe feel that way about themselves so <laughs> long story short man they'll sweat let it go off you back anyway i feel so bad for noelle we're just like hanging out with her um today but she seriously looks like the best granny in the entire world look at her just mrs doubtfire right here i love it i really do um we should be having a marigold to get home very shortly i kind of want her to go and maybe find herself a seriously axel if i see your freaking dirty little paws where are the freaking dogs she, she oh baby cash just wants a little bit of loving and a little bit of humping she gotta go to the bathroom all right why don't you come out here and uh go pee peace how about that my mamas i love this dog i freaking love her she is just we need to go to like the dog park and find her dog i'm not kidding the potty dance uh let's just have her go potty so mary gold is done with school i had her work really hard today now if it did anything i don't know for whatever reason she's kind of like taking a liking to aspen which is really interesting oh she's gonna go oh she just stepped in dog shit oh honey i <laughs> you are having one hell of a bad day she's like i forget the advice my boot smells like doo-doo <laughs> god oh it says stepped in pet poop ew gross pet owners who did not pick up after themselves at the worst aka your grandmother i am seriously dying you know what you just get rid of him just get rid of the damn cat you're done with this crap you know what you're absolutely freaking done lecture about jumping on counters like i cannot with this damn cat like i can't axel's been a part of our lives forever but i think axel is gonna end up getting the damn boot like i'm not even kidding like one day thorn's gonna walk through these doors and axel is gonna be no more because we can simply not all right let's get over here why can't i use this oh my god experiment let's go have her experiment because i want to see her she's gonna have a little snack she got she got doo-doo on her shoe <laughs> that's so funny i love her she's like oh can this day get any worse um i could actually see her kind of growing out her hair and then um 
maybe like experimenting with hair dye even though her hair should be freaking yellow just because a part of the challenge but i could see her doing it or at least getting the space buns that i want her to have she will but i'm gonna have her grow out her hair a little bit so thorn just came home and um she's really 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 tired from hoeing around we actually got the next three days off which is kind of cool so we're a public official correcto yeah we're on level six that's awesome we're really coming up to the end of season two you guys what all right, what is Thorne doing? She's been, I mean, Noelle, she's been really wanting to spend some time with her, with her mom. And you know what? I feel like she, she realizes she's been slacking in the mom department a little bit. And so she's going to come over here and kind of have like a deep personal conversation with her. And just kind of thank her, thanking her. I really do feel like you guys, a part of Thorne died when she realized she had to give up Daisy. I do. And I feel like a lot of her, bad or ill parenting skills stemmed from that oh my god look at them having a serious conversation oh this makes me feel so sad doesn't that make kind of sense to you guys like why she is the way she is maybe she feels like uh i don't know if you can hear me but i'm kind of far away but um i feel like maybe she feels guilty and that guilt is kind of eating at her because her daughter looks just like her twin sister does that makes a lot of sense doesn't it i don't know i feel really freaking bad though i must admit like it does make me feel really bad and you know noel's telling her don't blame yourself like you know i mean we all we all go through this journey of life and whatever freaking other stuff and motivational speech she's got up her sleeve but you know i'm gonna leave that to the pros okay <laughs> i already given you guys your speech today we'll leave it up to the well to you know uh whatever calm her daughter down or whatever um but yeah i do feel like that's a lot of it and it sucks because mary gold doesn't know anything and it, she's suffering because of it but it's also cool because she has an amazing relationship with her grandmother something i haven't really experienced too much in the sims so i'm gonna let her go and and uh, maybe find some frogs. We're going to get dirty anyway. But she's going to go start exploring um, for for some ranitas. And we could probably put one right there. I actually installed the mod that allows you to name them. So if you guys have any name suggestions for our little pet frog, totally feel free to leave them in the comments down below. But I feel like this part was definitely a little bit of a grind in the beginning. But like... The more that I'm playing with it and just enjoying it for what it is, it's actually a really good time. Like, it's so much fun, you know? Um, so we got a spotted eggplant frog, and it looks a little something like this. We're gonna, it's, it's only worth, like, 10 simoleons, so it doesn't really have, like, a high value or anything. But I feel like maybe this will be our friend. <laughs> or you know what? We should get her an animal. <gasps> that could be her friend. Okay, but we're still gonna, we're gonna name the, the spotted frog. And you know what? We should beg. We should beg Noelle. For an animal you know what we're gonna do it we're gonna go over here really quick before we wrap this up and we're gonna go and cuddle and we are gonna love why is Ca cashew is such a skittish little pup she hates the freaking tv so like really how is that even a thing oh my god she hates everything she's so skittish it's really cute though um can you go and like sit on your little doggy mat where is oh i wanted her to go cuddle with noelle on the couch all right next episode Two questions for you. First question, what should we name our little Ranita? And then second question, which pet should we get? Now, before you answer that question, uh, I do actually have, I want to say, I don't know if I do for sure, for sure, but I'm pretty positive that I do have the um, added pets in here, like the other critters, like the mod. I don't see it though. Okay, I do. So you can choose from a hamster, a hedgehog, um, a rat, a chipmunk, a gerbil, a whatever the hell that is, a bunny, a ferret, guinea pig, sugar glider, sugar glider actually, <laughs> a chinchilla, a squirrel, or a digu. <laughs> so those are the options that you have, or um, a boba loss, but nobody cares. So those are the options that you have, and that will be the question of the day. And whatever suggestion I pick will be pinned to the top of the board and featured in the next video. So with that said, guys, don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Look at there it is. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where this said it does not shine. <laughs> <coughs> and I will see you all next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. I sometimes dream.